Voici Jamie Moy. When I was seven years old, my family and I went on a two week long vacation to Hong Kong and it was amazing. I got to visit my grandparents for the first time. Uh, we went to the Great Wall. Uh, one of the coolest things that I learned when I was in Hong Kong was that in Hong Kong, I'm actually of average height. <laughs> but among all of these cherished memories that I had as a kid in Hong Kong, perhaps one of the coolest things that I learned or got to do was ride an elephant. I mean, how many people can say that they got to ride an elephant, let alone have photographic evidence of it? But here's the thing. Even if my parents didn't take this picture of me on this elephant, I would still have this cherished memory. Memory not only allows us to revisit the past, but also allows us to navigate our complex environment. For example, this is my first time in this amphitheater, but I remember exactly where I needed to go for some liquid courage before jumping up on this stage. <laughs> Memories are essential for survival, not only for us as human beings, but for animals. Take elephants, for example. Elephants use their memories to lead their herd along a safe path to alternate food and water sources when theirs run dry. Unfortunately, this mechanism for memory is recycled. But instead of it leading to something good, it leads to long-term pain. Memory and pain actually share a lot of characteristics. For example, like short and long-term memory, pain can also be short and long-term. When forming a memory, our brains activate a specific set of neurons when we process sensory information. Similarly, when we experience a painful event, a subset of neurons are activated, which could lead to long-term pain conditions such as low back pain, osteoarthritis, and neuropathies. But a lot of things that are similar, molecular mechanisms that are similar between memory and pain are, can range from the pattern of activation to using the same molecule. But what I want to talk about today is a crucial ingredient that both memory and pain share, and that's calcium. While many people think of calcium, of how much they need to drink, and how much they basically need to drink for healthy bones and teeth, calcium is also very important for neurons. The neurons in our brain that are responsible for forming memory use calcium. As well as the neurons in our body that sense pain. Current medications that block calcium to block pain are actually very effective, but also come with detrimental side effects. While there's many medications that act by blocking calcium to block pain, perhaps one of the most effective and most well-known are opioids, such as morphine, fentanyl, or oxycodone. But with great power comes great consequences. Along with blocking the calcium in our body to block the pain, opioids also block the calcium in our brains. This blockage of calcium in our brains are associated with a lot of different side effects. A specific side effect is termed brain fog. Brain fog is the feeling of confusion and disorientation and is often associated with memory loss. Patients have often elected not to take their pain medications due to this side effect. And I, for one, can't even imagine having to choose between being in constant pain or losing my memory. 
We as pay researchers have come a long way in understanding the mechanisms of pain and ways to treat it. We know now that blocking calcium can block pain. And what I'm currently researching are pain-specific calcium mechanisms so that we can block calcium to block pain without interfering with the calcium in our brains. That way, you can always remember the special or important moments in your lives. For me, it's when I successfully defended my PhD dissertation with the loved ones, my family. The immense love and happiness you felt looking at your partner across the aisle on your wedding day. How cute your dog looks in her winter outfit. <laughs> the first time you hold your child in your arms after months of anticipation. Or that time you got to ride an elephant in Hong Kong. Thank you. <laughs>